Guarantees back up to 50k miles. Well, the pay for the B1, B2, and the C seat during uh, TNT. So it's good news about TNT is that the pay we have it in writing the pay. So we have C seat is a 800 guarantee pay a week. We have B1 and B2 seats are going to be guaranteed of 900 a week. And and after 10,000 miles on a C seat will be moved to a B2 seat. Their pay will increase to 900 per week. So that's pretty good. Um, B2 will be moved to B1 at 30K miles. So you from... So you'll start off as a B1. Once you get the 30K miles, you will become a B2, correct? Yep. Yeah, sounds good. It's a bunch of letters, man. They just oh, calling yeah. everybody a letter over here. <laughs> um, also, don't forget our Thursday night lives, 7 p.m., right? Oh, yeah, 7 p.m. Central Time. Thursday? Yep, Thursday. For, for sure, Thursday. And then... We got the news that everybody wants to hear. Oh, yeah. Unless you're coming to Prime. <laughs> so, if you're new, if you're new coming into class after 10, 17 and after, so October the 17th, 2022, as of right now, or actually in a couple days because it's, what is today? The today's 12th. The 12th. the 12th. So, today's the 12th. So, after today, B2 will need 50K TNT miles, not 30K. 20, 20K miles for B1 and 60K for C seats till you can upgrade to a truck. So they are moving the mileage back up to 50,000. So, you know, pretty much in, in English. In English, you're going to be doing the 50k miles is what's going to happen. So we're, I know a lot of people are not looking forward to that. A lot of people didn't like it before. They didn't come in because of it, but they are back to doing that. I guess the, why do you think they would do that? Um, I, my guess is due to uh, the need of a truck, one available. Uh, we do have a upgrade list, and I guess that list is pretty long. So they're trying to to eliminate the list or make it even smaller so students not coming or drivers not coming back and then having to sit and wait for a truck when they can still be making money by running yeah. um, and then they can and I think they're the way they're gonna do it the way I have it in my head is they might bring you back sooner if the truck is available if you've done good you have a good report from your fleet manager your uh, TNT trainer uh, your safety record's good, maybe. Don't hold me on that one, uh, but that's what I see on it. Okay, and and what I, what I'm thinking is going on right now is that we're getting a lot of people upgrading at 30k miles, and they're like, man, I don't know how to back, or they're like, hey, I don't know how to do the job. Well, you know, 30k miles, if you're knocking out 5,000 miles a week, man, it goes by pretty quick, and I think that it kind of ended up being like. We were putting people out that maybe weren't experienced enough in the way Prime does the job, maybe. So doing the extra mileage, another 20K miles, will better prepare you for being on your own truck. If you're, if you're on one of the lease trucks, you can start learning even more about the business side. And get the more, more knowledge you get, more power. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had plenty of students that did the 50k miles when we had it back. When was that? Last year? Yeah, that was last year. Or a year, year. before. That was well, last year. Whenever they did the 50k miles before, I had a lot of students that said, man, that was beneficial because I got to learn a lot more. And then again, I have the 30k guys that were all like, man, I didn't need more than, more than 20k miles. I was ready. So everybody learns at a different speed. So if we put it up at 50K, even the ones that are learning at a slow speed, they get where they need to be before they get to their truck. The guys that learn really quick, guess what? Start learning more stuff. It, it always helps to watch your trainer, see what he's doing and ask him questions. So, uh, you know, whenever you feel like you know everything, 
You don't because we don't even know everything. Yeah, we're still learning every day. Every single day. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset about this and a lot of people are going to get mad. Uh, does this affect the guys that are on TNT right now? Uh, no. No, it does not. So you guys that are on TNT right now that are that were here before this started, y'all are still on the 30K miles. It's everybody that comes in after 1017, October the 17th. And who knows? Maybe down the road, they'll put it back at 30K miles. We don't know. We're not, what? We're not the boss around here. Tennessee looks like the boss, but he ain't the boss. Maybe he is the boss. I don't know. How do you feel? You feel like the, it's going to be beneficial, or do you I, think it's I a think negative? I think it's going to be, there's a pros and cons in both sides of it. The pros, like you said, you get to learn a little bit more of the job. Um the cons yeah you're going to be with that tnt trainer a little bit longer uh when at before it was thirty thousand, get upgraded wait for your truck get your own truck get going um but it's, i think it's better if you stay on that truck get to learn more get to do more and then get them not if you're run if your tree tnt trainer's running you're knocking them miles out anyways so i wouldn't look at it oh i've hit this many miles i hit this many miles i look at it as that was a great run. Let's do another one. Yeah. Let's get that loads down the road, regardless if you're reefer, flatbed, flatbed. We see a whole lot of different stuff. You guys do when you pop your doors open. But, I mean, just like now, my student was enjoying his day-to-day -day actually getting to do a three tarp load. So. And, and you know, you get, you get being out there longer is more opportunity for you to see more stuff. Because in 30K miles, I might have not even got a claim on a load. So I might have not even got a box of Reese cups or something like that, you know. You know, I'd rather do the extra miles. Maybe there's a damaged box of Reese cups on there or something. <laughs> you know, but, like, you, the truck doesn't break down every day. Like, if the truck breaks down during that time, you have to hit a road assist or there's a blowout. Guess what? You're more prepared for that because, hey, I remember when that happened to my trainer and we did this macro. Then we called road assist and all that good stuff. And my phone wasn't muted again. So, guess what? You heard that ringtone. That's a horrible <laughs> ringtone. And, you know, I think that it's going to be all right. We're going to survive. We're going to get through this. Oh, yeah. And... You know, maybe it, maybe we will put out better drivers out there because any 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 way we can improve as a company, as Prime, any way we can improve. Say that again, but any way we can get better, you know, it makes the company look better. So like, there's less wrecks, there's less accidents, there's less people going to shippers or receivers that have no knowledge in what they're doing. Oh yeah, and you know, I think it's good. And then getting that call later down the road, hey, Twisted, how do you uh, put in a micro to get my tire fixed? Or, how hey, do you Tennessee, get how, do I, how do I get fuel? Um, I was never shown that. Or, um, hey, how do I tarp this load? I mean, I get a lot of that. How do I chain down this kind of load? Or, I've never done these loads. Can you walk me through it? I have no problem helping you out with it. Uh, any of my students to get off my truck get on the TNT if they ever have any issues after that and they get on their own truck Feel free to call me. I'll answer those questions. Send me a picture of what you got and I'll show you I'll tell you over the phone how to fix it. I get a lot of um, calls You know what they need to do what I what I think they need to do send somebody half of their TNT miles on a company truck and half on a lease truck because I get a lot of calls about hey I don't know how to get reefer fuel my guy was leased, so we stopped wherever. And, you know, that little bit of knowledge right there mm -hmm. on send the macro or send a message to your fleet manager with the code of the, the place you're at to ask for reefer fuel. But we're going to, or it's your video, man. You end it. <laughs> or it's our video. <laughs> you end it. Well, this side, yeah. Well, uh, I, I'll just do this. Uh, We'll roll that beautiful bean footage of uh, peg leg real quick right here. Hey everybody, hit that like button, borrow my leg to smash that ding dong bell. Oh, and if you ain't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe too. And then they 
yeah make sure you hit that like and subscribe like peg leg said use his leg to hit that bell to get those notifications every time we go live or go do anything with our stuff and subscribe and subscribe and to subscribe and then yeah go over to twisted channel and subscribe to his yeah so all right other than we'll, that we'll see you on the next one yeah till next time Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and click on the next video to watch my current video that's out.